This presentation provides an overview of the Victorian Auditor General's report, Security of Critical Infrastructure Control Systems for Trains. Passenger train services are an essential service for the Victorian public, much like electricity, water, gas and port services. Train services rely on a range of systems and equipment, including control systems that monitor and control service delivery. As cyber attacks become increasingly automated and sophisticated, control system security is crucial in ensuring that train services are sustainable, protected from unauthorised access and reliably operated and delivered. So what are control systems? Control systems are computer-based systems that monitor and control the critical infrastructure that deliver train services. This infrastructure includes network equipment, field equipment and the communication network. Our audit focused specifically on the control systems within the network. This audit examined the security of the control systems used by Victoria's train operators and Public Transport Victoria's PTV, oversight of these operators. The agencies involved in this audit were PTV, the Department of Economic Development Jobs, Transport and Resources, DEDJTR, and the train operators Metro Trains Melbourne and V-Line, as well as Victorian Rail Track and Emergency Management Victoria. In our 2010 audit, Security of Infrastructure Control Systems for Water and Transport, we noted significant weaknesses in the security of control systems of water and train operators. And we made recommendations to address these weaknesses. We found that there has been little improvement in the security of train control systems since 2010, and significant weaknesses remain. We found that these weaknesses are due to poor governance arrangements and management oversight, limited security frameworks and security controls, poor transfer of accountability, and the risk during machinery of government changes. We identified security vulnerabilities in the control systems and issued management letters to PTV, seeking assurance that security risks had been identified and assessed. We also gave written information to relevant ministers and a department head under Section 16F of the Audit Act 1994. As required under this section, we also notified the Premier. During our audit, PTV started to address the issues that we identified. PTV has not developed adequate governance arrangements to help train operators manage risks to their control systems. This has resulted in limited cyber security frameworks within both PTV and the train operators, as well as unclear ownership, roles and responsibilities. PTV has not identified, prioritised or managed emerging risks to Victoria's essential train services and vulnerabilities of the control systems. As a result, there is no strategy for setting minimum security requirements, and the processes for managing risk and compliance are inadequate. Train operators do not have the necessary security frameworks in place to safeguard the control systems that manage and monitor train services. And PTV has not coordinated the train operators or provided them with guidance about security frameworks. Train operators are missing the proper controls to secure their control systems. They have only limited controls to detect and respond to cyber security incidents. PTV and the train operators have recognised these weaknesses and are working together to address them. We made nine recommendations directed to PTV and one recommendation directed to DEDJTR. We recommended that PTV provide leadership and establish governance arrangements to train operators for managing risks to control system security. That train operators improve the security of control systems to enable them to effectively respond to cyber threats. That DEDJTR establish appropriate processes to manage the transfer of responsibility of recommendations during machinery of government changes. PTV has provided a detailed action plan on how it has commenced addressing our recommendations and the timeframes required to complete these activities. 
In June 2016, the Victorian Government announced the establishment of a new agency called Transport for Victoria, TFV. TFV will have overarching responsibility for transport across Victoria. In anticipation of the establishment of TFV, DED JTR has committed to establishing appropriate processes to manage the transfer of accountability and responsibility for audit recommendations. For further information, please see the full report of this audit on our website, www.audit.vic.gov.au.